Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic which is listing of files. So in this topic we are going to see how we can list a file. That is how we can see how many files are present in a folder. So we use a command called the ls command. Okay, so this is the command name and when we type this command you will see the list of all the files which is present in this folder okay so that is ls that is list the command files in the current directory so wherever you go so let's say if i go to this folder slash tmp and if i do an ls here you will see all the files in this folder which is slash tmp folder okay so if i just type cd and do ls it will show me files in this folder okay take note that if you change the folder the number of files type of files will change because ls list the files in that particular folder okay there are a lot of variants or options which can be used in ls so to start with we use the command without any options okay we can use it with file cards we can use it with various other options so the most common and important option is minus l this will give you the long listing of files in this folder okay so you can see that it will show all the files and you may need to scroll up if the number of files are more than what you can see on screen Okay, so that is about the long listing minus L option. This is the option. Why it is called long listing? Because if you see the file name is this or directory name is this. Okay, but it is showing all the attributes of a file. Who is the, what is the permission, who is the owner, which group it falls, what is the size, when it is last modified. Okay, so all that information is seen in the command called ls minus l. Now let's look at one very important option in ls which is ls minus al. So the a stand for the hidden files. So if you have a lot of hidden files in your environment, this will show all the hidden files. Okay, so this will show you the list of all the hidden files. Some of the very important hidden files if you see is dot and dot dot. So they are the dot stand for the current folder. Okay, dot dot stand for the parent folder. How do we know? Let's check that part. So if you type pwd, you will see this. Now if you type cd dot and type pwd, you will remain in the current folder only. But if you type cd dot dot and type pwd, it will take you to one folder below it. So this is your folder in which you are in and it will take you to this folder. Okay, so that is about the dot and dot dot file types. Okay, so then there is one more option that I wanted you guys to know is ls minus i. I stand for the inode. We will see what is an inode, but here you can see the inode number of a file. So this inode number is unique in the system. Okay, so this is an inode 
Okay, how do we write this is inode. Okay, so each file has a unique inode and you can see that this particular folder that is var folder which has a inode number of this is the inode number for it. So like that these are the different options which can be used in ls. Okay, so that is pretty much I wanted to cover in this particular topic. So just to recap what we have done, we have covered the command called ls without an option, ls minus l with long listing, ls minus a, a stand for hidden files, ls minus i, i stand for i nodes, and we can combine these options as well that we have seen. Okay, so that is pretty much I wanted to cover in this particular topic. Thank you for joining me and have a nice day. Bye-bye.